Do you know who you're voting for on November 3rd? Right on, Humility. Except I accept this nomination for president. For president. Chances okay. are you've already made up your mind. You already know how important this election is. You probably already believe this could be the most important election of your lifetime. And if that's true, then I ask, what are you going to do is what to is. make it Lower count? The world. Lower the if you are just nervously waiting for the outcome, like I was a couple of weeks ago, curled up on the floor, despondent and shaking, then please, let me remind you, once more, what's at stake. Donald Trump is setting the stage for a contested way, result. We're going to lose this election as if the election is rigged. Remember that. If he succeeds at sowing seeds of this doubt rigged election. and refuses to accept the laws. Are you suggesting that you might not accept the results of the election? I have to say, look. We will have a constitutional crisis on our hands. If he succeeds in suppressing the vote in order to win, the result will be illegitimate. Either way, democracy is at stake. Here's what else is on the ballot. The pandemic response and recovery, getting schools back up and running, getting the economy responsibly on track, the livelihoods of everyone who has suffered the most from these damaging decisions, climate change, education, racial justice, health care. America's standing on the world stage and so much more. So please, don't just wait for an outcome. Help create the outcome. Make calls to help get out the vote for Biden-Harris. Do everything. Everything you can to stop voter suppression and ensure a fair result. And recruit everyone you can think of to do the same. We have two months and the outcome is far from certain. And on November 3rd, we need it to be undeniable. Right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race.